Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gizmo and today I'm looking at a KVM switch from a company called TE Smart. This is the dual monitor KVM switch. A KVM switch is a device that lets you control two different computers using one set of keyboard, mouse and monitor. Any queries or questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to come back to you. So, let's jump straight in. So we're going to start by unboxing the package. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, so for the purpose of this review, the model that I have is the 4x2 dual monitor HDMI KVM switch in red. The 4x2 refers to the fact that it takes in 4 HDMI inputs and it gives out 2 HDMI outputs. So in the box you get a product manual. Keep that handy because it has some vital information. And of course the actual KVM switch itself. Now my first impressions are, wow, look at how many ports there are on the back. It's a bit overwhelming, but we'll take a closer look a bit later. So there is a small infrared remote control. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with batteries. You need a CR2025 battery. And there are lots and lots of cables. Now you might look at all these cables and at this stage feel a bit overwhelmed or think to yourself, is this device going to be really difficult to set up? Actually, it's not. Bear with me. This is possibly one of the simplest devices that I've had to set up. The cables are mostly HDMI cables, which basically connect to the computers. You get two 1.5 meter single HDMI cables and two sets of further HDMI cables that also have a USB A to B on either end. All of these cables are 4K quality, so you're going to get you know, amazing picture quality. And finally, of course, you get the mains power plug as well. I'm in the UK, so they included a three pin power plug. So let's take a closer look at the actual KVM itself. Now the review version that I have here is in red. However, this also comes in black as well. Now at the front of the device, you've got the yellow button to switch from computer one or two, as well as the infrared uh, sensor for the remote and the power button. Now on the sides and the base, you've got various vent holes to stop the device from overheating. And at the rear, all of the ports, so all your HDMI input and output ports, as well as the USBs for the keyboard and also additional peripherals. Now I'm going to put the actual dimensions of the KVM switch on the screen, but let's just compare it against the keyboard that I have. Now the keyboard that I'm using is the Newfie Studio Air 75. It's a 75% keyboard and it weighs 523 grams. Now in comparison, I can tell you the KVM switch is extremely light. However, it's almost comparable in size to the keyboard, but it's very light. I've listed the main features of this KVM on screen, so press pause if you want to read the full details. Now just to reiterate, the function of this KVM switch is to control two computers using one set of keyboard, mouse and monitors. All you do is you press a button and you can switch between computer one or computer two. So the two computers that I'll be testing the KVM switch on is number one, my gaming PC. Now my gaming PC only has one HDMI out and the remaining ports are display ports. 
So I've had to buy a display port to HDMI adapter. The second computer is my HP work laptop. Again, this only has one HDMI out and the second video output is by a USB type C. So I've also had to buy a type C to HDMI adapter. Just to clarify, the adapters are not included in the box. The two monitors that I'll be using are the following. Monitor 1 is a curved 34 inch LG ultra wide and monitor 2 is a 15.6 inch touchscreen which looks like a tablet. It's by a company called Vissels. Now this does take a mini HDMI and the second video input is via a USB type C. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a dry run showing how to connect all of the cables. Now this is a really easy process. At the back of the actual uh, KVM switch, everything is clearly labeled. In a nutshell, the connection is basically two HDMI cables from each computer into the KVM switch along with one USB cable. So for the purpose of this demo, the laptop is PC number one. All I'm doing now is I'm plugging in one HDMI cable and the USB type B into the KVM switch and the other ends of the cable. So the USB type A and the other end of the HDMI cable are being plugged into the laptop. Now, as I mentioned previously, my laptop does not have a second HDMI video output. However, it does have a USB type C video output. So I've had to buy another cable, which is HDMI on one end and USB type C on the other. The HDMI side goes into the switch and the type C goes into the laptop. And that essentially is all of the cables that you need to connect. So each computer has three cables, two HDMI or two video outputs along with one USB cable. Now for the second computer, all you have to do is just repeat these steps. Honestly, this is a really easy process one of the nice things about this device is that you don't need any technical know-how or knowledge or experience to make it work. All you're doing is just plugging in cables which are all, you know, labelled and really easy to read. And then the other end is just connecting to either your laptop or your PC. The remaining ports are for your mouse and keyboard as labeled on the screen and of course you've got the power headphone and the two hdmi ports which you connect directly to your monitors okay so now i've got all of the actual cables connected I've got the KVM switch where I'm going to actually be keeping it. It's on my desk and luckily for me I have just enough space underneath my monitor riser and would you believe it? It just about fits into the space that I have and even with all of those cables connected it actually looks rather neat. So what I'm going to do is just push it back. There you go and it fits really nicely and it looks quite neat in that space and of course it's within easy reach so I can just at the press of a button switch from computer 1 to computer 2. Okay so time for a demo. Both my computers are turned on, they're connected to the KVM, the KVM is turned on and if we press the yellow button I've now switched from what was on the screen initially, which was my laptop, to my gaming PC. And as you saw, that was really easy, quick and seamless. And I'm just demonstrating the fact that 
the mouse is working on both and if we switch back again I'm back into my laptop and again everything works straight away. So as you saw switching between one computer to the other is really quick and easy and there's there's virtually no lag in terms of using the keyboard and mouse once it's switched over. So if I switch back to the laptop now, there you go. See, look, I can use the mouse straight away. I can use the keyboard straight away. I can also use the multimedia function on the keyboard. So I'm changing the volume. If I switch back to the gaming PC, again, it's working straight away, the keyboard and mouse, as well as the multimedia function. So this is a close-up shot of the KVM switch's front panel. Obviously the lights indicate the computers being online and also which one is currently active. Now this device, it's really painless and easy to use. There's no complicated software to install, anything to configure. It literally is plugging in all the cables, turning it on and just pressing a button to switch from one PC to the other. Now, in addition to using the physical yellow button at the front of the KVM switch to switch from one PC to another, you can also use the keyboard using special shortcuts to actually switch from one PC to the other. Now, by default, the key combinations consist of pressing the scroll lock button twice. However, if like me, you have a keyboard that unfortunately doesn't include the scroll lock key, you can still use this function by programming the actual KVM switch to use the right control button instead. If you have a look on page six and seven of the product manual, it tells you actually how to do this. Now I have to say I'm really impressed with the way this KVM switch works. Everything's really easy, it's smooth and it just works. The switching itself is, is really fast. If you need to control two computers, this will definitely improve your productivity. Now a couple of things to consider. This only supports 60 Hz, so if you're a gamer, this may not be for you. It's quite a big device, so you make sure you've got enough space close by. And finally, make sure you've got at least two video outputs. Now, having said all that, if you need a KVM, here's my top five reasons why you should buy this. Number one, this device is totally easy to set up. Anyone can do it. It requires no experience. Number two, it works out of the box. There's no programs, no software to install, nothing to configure. Number three, it's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is press a button to switch. Number four, it offers so many features and also works with all major operating systems, including Windows and Mac OS X. And number five, switching is really quick and there's virtually no lag at all. If you're in the market for a KVM switch, I would highly recommend this. It currently retails on Amazon for approximately £215. Well folks, thank you for watching. We've come to the end. I will be linking the product in the video description, so do check it out. Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.